up peeps, how's it going? Tifty here, and today we have another sentry spot guide and we're looking at Upward. I'm gonna be running through some of the spots I like to use, but bear in mind there's loads of other ones to try out, so keep exploring and keep mixing it up. After the last video I did, got loads of cool gifts from you guys, so I really appreciate that, but I'm sure I'll talk more about that in future videos. So for now, let's jump straight in. So I thought I'd start by taking a quick look at the map. These are the two spawns for blue and red teams and the cart travels in kind of like this spiral shape. When I first played this map I didn't actually realise it was a huge circle but it's kind of interesting to know. So the cart travels around here, as it gets to this point here the spawns change and then eventually the cart gets to here and the blue team have won. I'm going to break this down into four areas. This uh, first bit on the left, the bottom right, then along the top, and then finally in the middle. So let's take a look at the very beginning. This is where the blue team will be coming out of spawn. And the first spot I'm going to look at is a little bit of a fun, silly one really, but can be enjoyable to play around with. It's just to the left of this long building, just around the corner. And as the enemies come forward along the track, you're able to deal out a nice amount of damage. The second one is a little bit further back. A lot of people build around this building here, next to this building. This is okay, but I'm not gonna show you that today because it's, it's very common. Another one is this position here, just behind the building, which is slightly more interesting. I've noticed a lot of the Highlander players do this. Um, gives you good cover from the building, and as the enemies push around, you can fire on them either side of the building. So taking another look at that first spot I mentioned, if I am going to build there, I make sure I've got a teleporter up because I realise I'm being a little bit ridiculous and I'm probably going to go down quite quickly. So what I've done here is I've immediately thrown a teleporter down and grabbed that um, large metal pack and then I'm just going backwards and forwards and building up my base as quickly as I can. Now there's probably a better way of doing this using some other loadout but I'm not big on switching my loadouts up. <laughs> So I just do it this old fashioned way. Um, as you can see it does reach um, across the other side of the map and it can also fire on the cart as they come around that corner pushing it. But yeah it can be a fun challenge to play around with. So this second spot I'm putting the sentry gun just behind this large building here. The exact location I'm still kind of trying to work out obviously you want it to be able to shoot both ways fairly well but there's always going to be some sight lines to it to the right that kind of concern me a bit but roughly speaking here's good the teleport is just by these barrels here and um, that's tucked away quite nicely and then I've put the dispenser just under that balcony to make sure my teammates can see it's there once I'm set up I'm just you know spy checking and making sure I'm applying pressure in both directions keeping an eye out for any enemies that might be coming around the corner I actually don't think this position works quite as well in a public server because you don't really have your team to support you quite as much. But as you can see it's taking care of anyone coming around the left quite happily. But yeah this can be a nice alternative to the, the more popular position. So next up in the bottom right of the map we have some really nice juicy spots to try out. One I really love using is on top of the tunnel in this area here. So you'll have enemies coming at you from these three directions, mainly from the front. And I just put the sentry gun kind of in the middle so it can cover all bases. But I'll talk more about that in a sec. The second one is actually in the tunnel on this little walkway here. This is really strong. Anyone coming through the ordinary route down the middle, it can take care of them really well. Uh, you just need to position it carefully so it can deal with people to either side as well. Finally, this is the area just outside of the tunnel and a lot of people build just on this corner here. This is fairly decent, but again, I'm not gonna show you this because it's very common. One alternative to that is actually a little bit further forward. By doing that, it reaches a little bit further over to the other side of the map, and it's also harder for guys coming out the window above to get shots down on it. But even more interesting, I think, would be the idea of building inside this little room here. Now, you're gonna have to start setting this up early, but it can be a lot of fun to play around with it has a really good cover of the area below and you just need to keep an eye out for anyone coming in through the corridor. Maybe not the most practical, but certainly a lot of fun to play around with. So let's take a look. I really like this one a lot. What I do is I put the sentry gun 
pretty much smack bang in the middle of this area. There is some method to the madness though, it covers both down towards that little route to the right and it covers the slope so that as soon as they their head's in view it can shoot them. And then I put the dispenser down just to the right but next to the wall and the telly just goes up directly in front in that little um, corner which is actually quite nice. I've had teams push past without noticing that before. Once I'm up to level 3, I'm just mainly taking a look down the left side, keeping on top of my sentry gun and pressuring any enemies that come forward, kind of um, luring them in a bit. So here, just taking a few shots at this pyro, making sure he's uh, chasing after me and letting the sentry gun do the rest of the work. But yeah, I really enjoy building here. I like the nice open space. It can be a lot of fun. This second spot is really strong too. It's inside the tunnel. You do see NGs using this quite a lot. So the sentry goes down looking directly towards the tunnel and I kind of put it fairly to the left so that if anyone's trying to flank that left route, the sentry gun can shoot down on them because that's the route I'd take as a demo man. The other buildings can go pretty much anywhere but sometimes it's nice to have this route behind you covered with a dispenser. So yeah, once you're set up and the cart's being pushed forward, just make sure you're on top of your sentry as it comes forward. And yeah, really tricky to take out from that direct route in front. As you can see, because it's to the left, it's getting shots down onto this sniper too, which is always good. This third one I mentioned, a little bit mental, just in this little hut here. And there is metal just outside here, and there's a tiny bit of metal inside as well. Um, but you're going to have to get it up real quick. The main threats are going to be coming actually through the corridor to your left. As you're seeing here, I'm getting a lot of pressure put on, onto me as I'm building up. But luckily, this for some reason, the spy is being my bodyguard, which is always nice. I actually put the sentry gun facing towards the doorway here. And that's because if a soldier or something's trying to peek around there, it just makes their life a little bit harder. Whereas anyone outside, um, they're going to be taken care of much more easily. It does actually reach over to that other kind of area, um, that other building, which is nice too. So yeah, here I'm seeing that I'm getting a bit of spam come around the corner. I just, you know, make sure I apply that pressure. Usually you can sort of uh, fend them off. So taking a look at the third part of the map now where the track does a little loop and there's um, big open space and some interesting structures. The enemies should be coming around here, over this little bridge and through the spawn area. The first spot which I think is really interesting to use is on top of this walkway here, looking down over the car and looking at the top entrance. This is a really forward hold but a lot of fun to try out. The second one is a bit safer, it's a bit further back and it's in this open area here. I find it's always worthwhile trying to build here before you set up on last. If you put your sentry gun around here, it can take care of the route to the right as well as the cart coming up the middle. So you need to make sure the sentry gun's just in this little gap here so it can look down on the cart um, while still looking at the, the doorway just in front of you where most of the threats are going to be coming from. So as you can see, um, I've built up to level 3 and as the cart's coming through, it's basically shooting down on them and it's really tricky to take out from down there. Just keeping an eye out for spies behind me because you're kind of in this little dead end area it's actually tricky for spies to come behind you again i tend to sort of poke my head around the corner a little bit shoot a few shotgun shots just to make sure one they've got some pressure on them and two they might chase me and, and run into my sentry in this game here i did really well they just couldn't get a good angle up onto my gun so i made it a really fun game If you die or you fall down, it's worth mentioning that you can actually get back up without going all the way around, uh, which is worthwhile knowing. So this second one is in this kind of large open area here. Putting my sentry gun just here so I can see into the doorway to the right, also the doorway to the left, and almost down to the edge of the map straight forward, but not quite. Dispenser you can bring to the side of you by the wall, which is also really handy. Uh, it means you can get set up very quickly if your gun goes down. So yeah, I'm just running around, keeping an eye out for any threats, making sure I apply that pressure with the shotgun. I think this is a pretty decent place to hold. Um, most people would just resort straight back to the last point, but you can actually try getting a little base up here instead. And because their spawn hasn't moved forward yet, it can be quite tricky for them to push around this last corner here. 
So looking at the last part of the map now, which is in the middle, can't quite get the bird's eye view I wanted, but it just gives you the rough idea. Enemies will be coming around through the main route in and around the top. Now, most people tend to build in this corner here, which to be fair is pretty decent. Can be really tricky to take out if you've got a good team behind you. I've also seen people build underneath as well. The main difference is you can build the top one a lot quicker, I find. But I'm not gonna show you this one today. Instead, I'm gonna show you some more interesting spots that I like to use. The first one being on the other side, opposite to this shelf here. Now this window has a really good view of the area underneath. It also has a view of the window opposite. Now again, it, I'm not saying it's necessarily better than the other ones that are normally used. I just think it's more fun. The other one I'll mention briefly as well is actually underneath here. The same kind of spot, just underneath instead. And again, this can work really well. It shoots the enemies as they're pushing the cart from behind. And it also shoots anyone coming up the stairs to the left as well, which is a really important route through. First thing I do is put the sentry gun down pretty much anywhere uh, in that corridor. Not at the window to begin with, just to give it more protection as you're building it up. So there's some metal behind you. I get a dispenser up just around the corner somewhere. And then when I'm ready to move it forward, I put it in this window with equal prominence to both sides, um, to the left and down onto the cart. As you can see, it's taken care of anyone coming up the stairs quite well. And it also shoots to the other window opposite. Once you're a bit more comfortable, you can put a teleporter down. So if you get killed, you can get back up here. And then I do tend to move my dispenser a little bit closer. This is kind of useful to stop spies getting past because you do have to do a crouch jump to get past. So that would probably freak the spies out a little bit. Once I'm a bit more settled, I kind of push forward a little bit. As usual, applying pressure with my gun and looking out for enemies. The alternative to that, which I mentioned, was actually underneath the last spot. What I do is I put the sentry gun kind of at this corner here, and then the dispenser just underneath these stairs here. Always useful to have that extra metal supply nearby. As people come up the stairs, I just shoot them with my shotgun and let the sentry gun do its work. As you can see here, as they push the cart around the very last corner, the sentry gun shoots onto them. Therefore, you get this surprise element as well. As always though, when the other team are doing really well and you don't really have the time to set up a level 3, a mini sentry can be a really valid option in defence. A lot of people would overlook this, especially in defence of a last point like this. It means you can get it out really quickly and it doesn't matter if it goes down, you know, you have that flexibility. Here I'm using this little bush to hide it in and it was doing a great job just taking out people. People didn't even realise it was there. What I'm doing here is I'm just, once I've got a few kills, demolish the mini sentry and then I get a couple of uh, revenge shots. It's kind of a worthwhile little technique to use. So yeah, you can just, there's loads of good spots to put the mini sentry down in. Often having it somewhere they walk past, they don't at first notice is always good. One of the spots I like to use is actually where I just discussed, just in this corner here. So as they push around to the very end here, they're getting shot by the mini sentry. So yeah, they're all the spots I wanted to share with you today. There's so many options, it was difficult choosing the ones worth talking about. But I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.